well, well, weapon detectors at Salt Lake High Schools disproportionately affect students of colour. What, what did you mean by this? <laughs> Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City High Schools will begin staffing weapons detectors after fall break, but some parents and a few Salt Lake City school board members worry the technology may have an outsized impact on students of colour. Why... Why, why would the weapons? Why would the detectors that detect weapons possibly affect students of color more? What would make you say that? Are you saying that students of color are more likely to have weapons on them? Is that because that's 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 the only takeaway that I can get from that? Why do you think that? Why do you think students of color are more likely to have weapons on them? What a strange thing to say. Uh, the Salt Lake City School Board recently approved the use of uh, state funds for a one-year contract with security firm Pal American to staff machines at East West and Highland High Schools as well as Horizonte Instruction and Training Centre, the district's alternative high school. The costly and controversial measure is still uncommon in the majority of the county's, country's high schools, even as school shootings continue to impact tens of thousands of US students. A number of school safety experts... I mean, it's not as if a school shooter's going to walk up and see the detectors and go darn <laughs> i can't get in now oh like no it's not it's not, it's not going to happen uh, continue to impact tens of thousands of u.s students a number of school safety experts one that security measures like metal detectors are not a safety guarantee and instead can be detrimental to students especially those from communities of color why is that why why is that let's find out let's see if they actually explain it the district's plans on uh, hosting open houses at schools before fall uh, before fall break so parents and students can try the machines and meet security staff the measure is part of the district's broader safety strategy which includes counseling threat assessments additional safety personnel in schools and positive behavior inventions District spokeswoman uh, Yandere Shatwin uh, said that the district is including its social uh, social emotional learning team, a team of specialists working in conjunction. Jo blah, it's so hard to do stuff without getting tongue tied. Uh, working in conjunction with school counsellors to help students develop social and emotional skills in conversations about the detectors to mitigate the emotional and mental impact the technology may have on students. The only reason that a student will be stopped is if the machine beeps. <laughs> There, here come the beeps again. Uh, that is independent of what the student looks like, who they are, what gender, what race or ethnicity. In terms of students being targeted from a particular demographic over another, that won't happen because it's an objective beep machine. That'll be the cause for a stop of any student, she said. Yes, that's absolutely fine. Like, these machines detect weapons. They're not going to go, haha, black detected, black detected, everyone stop what you're doing, black detect. That's not going to happen. Right, they're going to detect it if it's a weapon. But why? I want to know why you said that. You, you said... Oh, this detects weapons. This will disproportionately affect black students. Why did you say that? Why do? Why did? What did you do that for? It's just interesting. I just find. I just find it interesting. Uh, the goal is to make sure that we're using every tool in our arsenal to keep students safe, but can't come at the cost of making them feel unsafe in other ways, of course, so we're taking that into account. One thing that I've said as well, by the way, even just for creating jobs, like to stop the school shootings, just station security at schools, not police, we've discussed this before, not police, but private, private armed security. That'll create jobs and it'll make the students safe. Hey-ho, everybody wins. That's great. It means if someone, you know walks up to the school, you know, trying to see all the kids with their pumped up kicks. It just means they don't even get near the door and they get dropped. They get dropped right away and everyone's safe. That is good. I would enjoy that. I would like the fact that there was shit tons of attempted school shootings, but they never made it through the door because they get fucking nanied the moment they appeared on the property. I would love that. That'd be great. And then if that happens so much, that might make people think, oh yeah, school shootings just aren't worth it anymore. That would be wonderful. That'd be great if that's the type of thing we could instill. And private security is a way to achieve that. Uh, differing opinions, only two school board members, Ashley Anderson and Mohamed Bayed, uh, voted against the weapon detector staffing contract, each cited concerns about students of colour. Okay, Ashley Anderson and Mohamed Bayed are racist. <laughs> They're racist because they just assumed that the black kids will have guns. 
right? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I get that. Mm, absolutely. You're both racist. Uh, I oppose it because data shows that this type of hardening offers virtually zero protection against school-based violence. That's, that's a lie. That's a complete lie. That's an absolute complete lie. Uh, Anderson said during a meeting uh, approving the contract, but what I'm even more worried about is the public, uh, the body of public health and police de-escalation research that shows unsworn officers, like those in the contract with Pal America, risk the escalation of violence specifically for people of colour. How is that, how is that going to happen? Do you, do you think that the hired security guards are just going to go, oh, there's a black student, and like, beat him up on the way in? What, what, I don't get it. How does that increase violence? Or you you just walk through the metal the, the the weapon detector without a weapon on you and go to your class. That that's it. That's all you have to do. Or are you trying to say they won't be able to hear the beep? <sighs> that's double racist. Double racist. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, Pal American declined to answer questions about how its security officers are trained and whether that training includes topics like implicit bias. A machine cannot be biased. If there is a weapon, the machine will beep. The machine doesn't detect black, white, Asian, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't do any of that. It detects weapons, right? The guys, the, basically, as someone who has worked on those machines, see if the machine doesn't beep, I don't give a fuck. I don't care, right? But basically, ours aren't really scanning for guns. Ours are scanning for knives. That's what ours were scanning for because people were trying to get knives into gigs. See if the machine doesn't beep. I'm not getting out my chair. I'm not getting out my chair. No beep. No action, right? That that's it. However, if it beeps, then I'm gonna go and realise it's some stupid arsehole that left his keys in his bag, right? It's it's that 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 I'm not getting up out my chair. It's gonna be the same case, right? Do you right, do you, do you know you don't know security guards? See if there's a day where we go and we don't have to do anything. That's a great day, right? We will not do anything if we don't fucking have to. We're not gonna go. There's a black guy. <laughs> like, like we're not gonna do that. If the machine doesn't beep, I'm not getting out my chair. And I imagine these pal American guys feel the exact same way. Why would they? There's no beep. There's no reason for them to do do anything any further. Get to your fucking class, kid. That's it. Uh, sorry, where was I? That was a bit of a rant. Uh, however, the firm's website claims its extensive security training is typically two to three times longer and more extensive than competitors and that office officers receive education and minor specific training. Uh, that is something you can get. I never got that because I never did anything involving kids. I did do like some gigs and stuff like that, but that was, yeah. It's not the same thing. Uh, our students are already under so much stress, Bide said. Uh, walking through a weapon detector is emotionally exhausting. What? <laughs> you just walk through it. Like, you don't go, you don't walk through it and then go like, oh, oh, like <laughs> just walking through a weapon detector. Shut up. Uh, I am speaking from my own experiences. Okay, I guess you've had a few problems. I walked through. I was about to say the airport with a name like that. <coughs> uh, I walk through TSA and I have to prepare myself two days in advance and worry that if that weapon detector or that scanner goes off, what well, what happens? They take it to the side, do some further checks, and go, "Oh, you didn't have. Must have been a false positive." Then on you go. Like. You know that when the weapon detector goes off, they're not just going to go like and like drop you <laughs> like immediately. That's not how it works. You're an idiot. Uh, and I'm also thinking about the minority kids who come from the refugee world, from places of war, and then they would have to walk through this. And if it beeps, it's a nightmare. I don't know how to explain it to you. I mean, it's, I, I can understand it pretty well. Uh, you're a loser and you're very, very weak because you walk through. I mean, I've walked through those machines and those have gone off and it's because of my belt. I, I, I've got belts with big buckles. It's because my belt set it off. Right? It's, it's fine. Like, you know, nothing happened. Nobody died. It's a minor inconvenience. Especially when you have to take your shoes off and all that. That's fucking annoying. But yeah, there's a tiny, tiny minor inconvenience. Uh, other board members says that while they understand and appreciate Anderson and Bayard's concerns, parents from a variety of backgrounds have pleaded with board members for the machines. KSL TV also reported that parents are divided over the measure. I, if my, basically, if I was in a country, basically, if guns were made legal in Scotland, I would want my daughter's school to, my daughter's school to have uh, those metal detectors. Uh, weapon detectors. I would want those. That's fine. I would want armed security and stuff like that as well. Great. 
my kids can go to school and I don't need to worry about it because if anybody tries to get in, they're going to get dropped. If anyone tries to sneak a weapon in, they're going to get caught. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Uh, I know that we need to recognise that it's challenging for individuals, but then we also need to consider that there are other individuals and many parents that this is giving them some peace of mind, uh, board member Brian Jensen said. Uh, I have to go. Sorry, it's very late and I need to get my stuff done. However, uh, those two people, uh, those they're racist. They just... Like, there's, there's no two ways about it. Like, what, what, they, what they just said was just massively fucking racist. 